Australian oils. I'm doing plein air at the moment and looking to nature for inspiration and purpose and just enjoying the colours that I see and the different environments that I encounter. Being away from the stresses and strains of normal life is really amazing. Because you're enjoying yourself, the paintings have that energy as well. They're not sort of strained, they're just quick sketches and they are about enjoyment and pleasure and they certainly do that for me. The inspiring landscape in this case is rural South Wales, as seen on a campervan tour. There is so much to stimulate any artist. The dramatic mountains, rugged gorges, magnificent beaches, and the windswept moorland of the Bracken Beacons, the Gower Peninsula and beyond. It helps a lot if your paints and easel are portable for plein air. There may be strenuous walks involved in the search for natural features. Waterfalls create a rare challenge and sense of excitement for the artist. We're better than here on the Kairavanet River at Blyna Glyn, famed for its beauty and tumbling water. What appealed to me is the waterfall on the right and the waterfall on the left and how that frames the scene and the tree to the right of the waterfall and the tree to the left of the waterfall creates a really nice composition. Seeing the water coming down with motion will be hard and creating the reflection of the water and the reflection of the light. It's quite an abstract painting. It's more sort of primitive and immediate. A highly complex scene then, with multiple features, shafts of light and textures. The plein air technique forces the artist into a process of simplification, in which they select the aspects of the scene they find most striking and interesting. They then work on their general impressions with loose and light brushwork. I quite like the angles that the trees are making within the piece. I also like the ripples of the water, but how the marks are representative, but they're also, there's emotion in there and I'm quite pleased with that. 